So I've just had my uh, pre-workout snack. Today I'm gonna take you through six exercises which you should be regularly incorporating into your training program, whether it's an arm day or if you do a push-pull legs training split, factoring in these three bicep exercises and tricep exercises. I'm gonna be covering sets, reps, volume and program considerations. Uh, just tips and strategies which can bring up your arms if it's a lagging body part for you. Let's do it. Do you, know, do you know how to put this on? It's like a bra. Yeah, well, first of all, you'll pad the bra. Oh. Oh, perfect. It's too high. It's too high. All right. Take two. Take two. So first exercise that we're going to be doing today is easy bar curls uh, utilizing the arm blaster. So easy bar arm blaster curls. Uh, the reason why we use the arm blaster, if you're wondering what this uh, special little device uh, is here, it for me, uh, and something that I tell all my clients, it keeps each rep honest. Just stretching the muscle belly out. I think this is one of the things when it comes to bicep exercises or is often people don't go through a full range of motion. So you want to stretch that muscle belly out before contracting up, squeezing, consciously squeezing, slow and controlled on the way down. One of the other things you'll notice is there's one no... Thing it's actually something that, if you want um, an idea of what is deemed full range of motion, flex your tricep at the bottom of the rep. Flex your tricep at the bottom of the rep, and that's when you know you've reached full extension. Dumbbell hammer curls at a 45 uh, degree bench. trying to concentrate here on keeping the elbows pinned back. Just keep your elbows pinned back and have the discipline, and this is the biggest thing, having the discipline towards the back end of your set to keep those elbows back rather than swinging forward and relying on momentum to bring the dumbbells up. That might mean that you need to reduce the weight that you are lifting, uh, but the, f the whole focus is to place as much emphasis on the bicep. You don't want to bring in any secondary muscle groups whenever you're performing this exercise. Elbow pinned back, consciously squeeze, stretch, flex the tricep out, which will know that's the full range of motion. All right, guys, if you're enjoying the video thus far, if you can do us a huge favor, and down below there's the thumbs up button. If you can press that thumbs up button to show us some support, we would really appreciate it. Uh, let's move on. The cables is that you place constant tension on the bicep throughout the duration of the rep, the full range of motion. There's always gonna be tension because of the cable pulley system. When performing 21s, we're gonna perform seven partial reps to halfway. Still controlling it, elbows pinned to the side before performing seven partial reps from the top. And then seven full range curls. Whenever you're performing free weight exercises, even if it is an isolated curl uh, exercise with either dumbbells or barbells, 
you're determining the range of motion and they're stabilizing muscles which are determining the range of motion but as you uh, fatigue later on in your session that's probably where the range of motion can be predetermined by the cable pulley system or machine uh, and that's probably where that's more appropriate but also with 21s uh, reaching failure is not a prerequisite in order to elicit growth but it can be a tool and it should be used sparingly but if it is used it's used towards the back end of your program so you're not compromising the volume throughout your session so use failure sparingly but 21s is a great exercise uh, to really pump out and reach failure as a tool probably go heavier just a reminder before I uh, finish up with these 21s we are doing a prize pack giveaway valued at $100 to one lucky viewer for details about this competition, just read the description below uh, so you can go in with a chance to win. I'm also gonna be giving away one of these Muscle Nation branded electric shakers. So guys, read the description below uh, so that you can go in with a chance to win. A great mass builder for your triceps is the stock standard dip. Now you can do this using your body weight or alternatively uh, you can attach a uh, chain belt and attach weight to provide extra resistance in order for you to progressively overload. The focus is to keep the angle of the arms parallel. I want elbows to be parallel rather than flared out. <laughs> This is one of those exercises where uh, the rep scheme can vary. Uh, often I'll perform really heavy dips with around six to eight reps, three to four sets, six to eight reps, and I'll attach weighted chain belt to provide that extra resistance. Alternatively, I may remove the weighted chain belt and just do body weight dips with higher rep schemes. Uh, so you can vary the rep schemes, the loads, the intensities, uh, which you utilize for this exercise. So the next exercise that we're going to focus on here is the easy bar skull crusher. Now, I want to stress the importance of exercising caution when performing this exercise. If you feel uncomfortable in your shoulder joint, your elbow joint, cease this exercise. But it can be quite beneficial if you have the technique down pat. What you want to do is keep the elbows locked in, remaining parallel as you extend skyward. <coughs> leaning back on a bench. Very important with skull crushes to choose an appropriate weight, uh, which you can control down uh, at a steady tempo, three seconds down before squeezing back up. There's no point, uh, you know, putting on excessive amounts of weight to put your shoulder and your elbow in a compromised position. I've actually done decline before as well. It gives different angles to different angles to hit your tricep. Reminds me, one tip uh, for all of you at home. Uh, making sure that you're well hydrated throughout your session, even prior to your training session. I think it's such an underrated factor, uh, not only in terms of your training performance, but also your recovery, is to make sure that you are well hydrated. Um, so I always try to either, I'll bring this sort of shaker, or I'll bring one of those big warty woo shakers, um, and you're just sculling water throughout your session. Remain as well hydrated as possible. So I always like to finish off uh, my tricep routine with a cable push down or extension exercise. Uh, here I'm demonstrating the tricep rope cable push down. Elbows locked in by your side. Just notice the tricep and squeezing. Now this is the sort of exercise where you don't really need to load it up with excessive amounts of weight. Tricep dips you probably can. 
Here with the tricep rope cable extension or push down, you're actually going through a greater range of motion. It might, might mean that you lower the, the loads lifted and you focus or you concentrate more on getting the squeeze, taking it through a full range of motion, higher rep schemes, aiming for more volume uh, with this particular exercise comparable to a dip where you probably increase the intensity and lower the rep schemes. All right, guys, thank you very much for joining me this week. I hope you're able to take something away from today's training session, which you can now apply to your own fitness journey. Just a friendly reminder to read the description of this video, which provides you with details on how you can enter our $100 gift voucher giveaway. We will also be giving away one of these Muscle Nation branded electric shakers. So make sure that you read the description to find out how you can win.